Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. The tea's gone cold, it's disgusting. Today, you're privileged to learn all about my new favourite pencil case and a particular pen. Reason being, someone's asked me to talk about the pen. So first of all, the pencil case is this, the Lihit Lab, and it's called a Smart Fit. Ugh, it's got poppers which are very strong. It's called a Smart Fit. Smart to fit for various work environments, it says. So I will now show you how it works and why I like it and what I use it for. At the same time, I'm going to talk about this, which is the Twisby Eco fountain pen, which I bought early this year, let's, let's leave it at that, January, February, uh, because I wanted something that was a little bit different with a fine nib that I could carry around with me all the time, because I love my Viscontis, naturally, but I don't necessarily always want to carry pens that are this valuable that I do need at home all the time. So I thought I'd just get a cheapish pen to take with me. And this is it, the Twisby Eco. I'll be talking about that in a moment. Hello, and so here is my little pencil case. An intriguing little package. What I really like about it is it's just the right size to fit in any jacket or pocket, so I can carry it around with me all the time. But it's got two poppers. And then the really clever thing is you can flip the top back and then the poppers go the other way so while you're out and about it gives you a nice little stand-up pencil case which is lovely and convenient the things that i've got in here are my basic carrying pack so i've got a fountain pen i've got a fine liner a trio of pencils because you've got to have pencils and then i've got some brush tipped pens here this one's very nice an Edding 340, which is not waterproof. And then I've got a brown Faber-Castell, which is waterproof. They're very convenient, so I can, while out sketching, I can outline in pencil. I can, if I want to, outline with the brown brush pen and then wash over it, which gives some interesting effects. Or I can use one that's fully waterproof, so that'll retain its line later. And then some water brush pens, which I use with my watercolour paints and stuff. So the things I'm going to talk about today, this is the pen that I'll be thinking of. I got it earlier this year and it's a Twisby. You can probably just see on the cap there. It is a beautiful pen. I, I absolutely love the clear acrylic that comes with it. It's not, however, an expensive pen. It has, as an example, on the top of the cap, a fairly cheap and, let's be honest, nasty <laughs> plastic Twisby logo, which does not look particularly attractive. But apart from that, when you look at it really, this could be a pen from a major manufacturer like Pelican, which would cost considerably more. This thing is under 30 quid, which I think is just amazing value for money. And Twisby are a very good firm. If you ever have a problem with one of their products, they'll always be very helpful. Um, they tend to rush um, spare parts to you at a moment's notice. And what's really nice about these pens is that they come with a, a lovely package which has a small descriptive um, manual on how to take the whole thing apart. Uh, it comes with its own little pot of silicone grease and a spanner because what you can do is if you unscrew the piston here, I'll, I'll just talk about how it works, it's probably best. So the cap has a good springy clip which does hold it to a shirt. Um, I've had experience of other pens that have fallen out of a shirt pocket, this one isn't going to. It's not going anywhere with that clip. It's a standard screw thread fitting, so you turn it a couple of times and that's safe. You can see in here there's an opaque sleeve 
um, that is to prevent any leakage so when the pen's screwed in there you can see that there's a tight connection there and the pen then will not leak ink into your shirt it, it won't do anything very robust very effective so what else can I say about it it's quite a narrow section but it's a pleasant one to hold it's um, the body from here all the way up to here is all one piece I, I assume it's injection molded I'm not sure but it means that you've got a very smooth um, body that you can hold at almost any any position I tend to start off writing at the beginning of the day holding a pen down at the bottom and then gradually I work my way up it as I'm writing uh, this gives you a multiple um, well, you've just got you can hold it anywhere you like it's a really comfortable pen to use I do like the fact you can always see how much ink there is in there you can see this is quite full of I think this is um, Prussian blue and what happens here is for those who aren't aware of the Twisbees they tend to be based on a piston now here you can see the two black rings are the seals of the piston as you turn the back the piston moves down and down and down. I'm not going to do it now for the obvious reason that I'll squirt ink everywhere. But you turn that and that will push the piston all the way down to the bottom. Dunk it in your inkwell and then screw it the other way and it will suck up as much ink as you want. Very simple um, mechanism but very effective. What you can do, as I was saying earlier, is when you screw the piston all the way down to the bottom, a gap appears up here. And... They give you a spanner, a plastic spanner of uh, made by Twisby for the pen, and you insert that there, unscrew it, and the whole of the internals come out. So you can take, you can also take off the nib unit, pull that out forwards. So you're left with a completely empty pen, to, uh, pen barrel, and that means cleaning is an absolute doddle. It's very, very easy. It's one of the few pens that's actually made and designed for the owners to take apart. Now there is a downside to this. Um, although in the manual it does say there's no need to take it apart you don't have to field strip it for no particular purpose even so some people don't necessarily read the manuals and i'm thinking here of my friend peter who when asked what his wife could get him for his birthday he said oh a pen and she phoned me and said i know you like pens mike what sort of pen should i get for him and i thought well this one's cost effective it's under 30 quid um but it does look as though it's worth a lot more than that and it's a lovely pen to use I, I advise them to get one of these so off they toddled bought one of these and he was over the moon he got it home the first thing he did was take it apart as per the instructions no you don't take it apart as per the instructions you only do that once in a blue moon when you really need to so uh, I then had a panicky phone call saying I've taken my pen to bits and I can't figure out how to put it back together again but uh, luckily I was able to direct him to a couple of YouTube videos where uh, complete disassembly and putting it back together again is shown so the videos are there if you ever take apart one of these and you want to figure out how to put it back together again there's lots of videos on on the internet showing you exactly how to do that so there you go very nice little pen it writes superbly well too so let's just have a quick look at the writing it's not as buttery smooth as my favourites, the Viscontis, but it, although it's quite stiff, it's um, not unpleasant at all. Whoops. You can hear that there's a certain amount of scratchiness there. That's not because of the nib, it's because this is incredibly cheap paper. <laughs> so there you go. One little Twisby pen. Lovely. I can thoroughly recommend the Twisby Echo. So there you have it. Lihit Labs. Strange name, Lihit Labs. Somebody thought it was a good idea. Smart Fit and a Twisby Eco. Thoroughly recommend either of them. Really worthwhile. Both very good value. Um, I haven't been given these, so I can happily say that if you want to get hold of them, a good place to go is Cult Pens. I always recommend Cult Pens on the basis that they're based in Devon, and I like the idea of supporting local businesses. So 
If you haven't tried them before, Cult Pens, we can put a link at the bottom here and you can go and have a look at them. Very good company, very friendly people, very helpful and superb next day service on whatever you buy. There you go. See you next time.